So I found one of the sources, one of the memes that is pushing the whole, just you wait, you better prepare for what's coming. And it's pretty far-fetched. It's a meme entitled, The Biggest Spiritual Battle Ever for Planet Earth. And it's something that came out on the 7th. It's claiming that there's going to be a bunch of military takedowns starting that weekend, which has passed already. So I guess they'll say it's this weekend. It's, it's coming. That military takedowns and arrests will start on the weekend and will continue until the 20th. They're claiming that uh, international raids have already started and that Italy is somehow part of the whole supposed election fraud stuff. Look out, it's the Vatican. You know, the Vatican is covering up more than pedophile priests. Look out. Now, I don't have much respect for the Vatican in general. There are a lot of things that they've tried to cover up, particularly within the church. You know, they're, they're not commendable. The Pope is not really commendable. But I don't have a very good opinion of organized religion to begin with, so I'm biased. It's claiming that Trump is going to use the emergency broadcast system and the emergency alert system to put forth SOS bulletins on our phones, on our media, and they'll say that it might even last for a couple hours and media won't be able to turn it off because it's part of the emergency broadcast system. And, I mean, come on. They'll say, oh, don't be scared as all of this is for the safety of our nation. Now, one thing that it says that seems to be reasonable advice is to not go to the, you know, capitals of major cities until after the 20th. Apparently, especially Philadelphia. In fact, they say go beyond the 20th. They say don't go to big cities for the rest of the month. It's saying that major military operations will be taking place in major cities. They'll call them major corrupt cities, of course. Saying that people will start to riot once this information, this intel, is released to the public. And they'll see Trump as being a dictator. You know, a military dictator. Well, if Trump does do this sort of thing, yeah, he will be a dictator. And some of you will support this. You'll be all right with this. Because you're not patriots. Not even close. Nothing you're promoting here is patriotism. Not one bit of it. And it goes on to say that uh, only 13 days to put this dog down. Well, it's already been a week since then, so, you know, none of this has happened yet. But, you know, the meme claims that when Trump told people to go home, that that was the start of all of this, right? Even though people have been saying, just you wait, just you wait for a couple of months. But, you know, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that none of this stuff has come into fruition so far. You know, it's just Q stating their normal bullshit and gullible people, especially religious people, buying into it. The ones that aren't religious, I kind of wonder, you know, can you really call yourself any sort of a critical thinker or, or a skeptic? You just listen and believe. If it comes from far-right sources, you listen and believe. And anything that comes from mainstream, oh, no, it's just a lie. Never listen to the mainstream. That's what they're pushing now, too. Never, ever listen to mainstream media. Never listen to a word they say. It's, it's all just some big scam. It's a big conspiracy because Trump is the, the method and the path to the truth, right? They're saying that the Marines and National Guard will come in, will swoop in, after this national release of this supposed intel, this intel that they, they couldn't tell anyone else. They, they have to wait till this grand scenario, right? And supposedly this intel will be dropped on a loop over and over again for uh, 
to be forced onto everyone wanting to use their phones or watch TV or any of that. It'll it'll be force-fed down everyone. It's coming. Look out, everyone. It's saying that Trump will be moved around to different parts of the country to ensure his safety. Well, that might be the case, you know, regardless of whatever goes on. It's saying that Trump needed to exhaust all legal means of doing things before this sort of operation could commence. And it's even admitting that, yeah, this operation is illegal, but those of you pushing this, you're all right with that. You're all right with bypassing the Constitution. You're all right with bypassing the rule of law. You're all right with someone being a dictator. As long as it's your dictator, your cult figure. It goes on to say that the event in D.C. was an awesome event. It goes on to blame all of it on BLM and Antifa. Because, you know, all the footage that we've, we've seen and so much of the footage that's available, even once people were inside the Capitol, no, no, that's not enough. It's all Antifa. It's all BLM. It, it's, it's a hoax, right? Crisis actors, right? Oops, oops, people were just posing as Capitol Police, right? That's what this meme is pushing. It goes on to say, every day there's new information that's proving this. And I'm like, every day there's new information proving that these were Trump cultists. They say, this is how they've understood the plan for the past three years or so. Oh, it's been a plan for three years? Oh, that's very interesting. And that they do believe that it's lights out time. Five plus five days of darkness. Oh, they say, be safe, be aware, and love. Yes, because this is just all built from love, right? It's just a bunch of horse shit. Horse shit, fear-mongering, and you know... If somehow this stuff does actually occur, if they show that they're actually right about this stuff, um, this isn't going to end well. It's not going to end well for the United States in general. It just amazes me that there are people who actually support this shit. You're all right with a dictator. I first saw this meme on censored TV. I, uh... I subscribe to that so I can see what the heck some of the other side is saying. So then I searched around the meme, searched for some of the phrases, and uh, I guess it first started showing up on Facebook, where uh, it eventually got banned, but I looked at the cached version of these these memes, and, and that seems to be where it started. I can see why they're trying to censor this stuff, because it's, it's pure propaganda, it's fear-mongering, and, I mean, these people pushing this stuff are, are nuts as far as I'm concerned. I mean, again, if, if this, any of this stuff is somehow right, we don't live in the United States anymore. And that's just the plain truth of it. I sure don't want to live under a dictatorship. And what's funny to me is some of these same people are claiming that Biden will be a communist dictator. Projection. Projection. 